me a look at the skin. Let's look at some of the newborn reflexes that point to the intactness of the baby's nervous system. Come on, Dan. They underlie all of the baby's behaviors. Grab them. Watch this baby participate as I pull her up to sit. She grasps my fingers with her hands, and she uses the muscles in her arms, shoulders, and back to keep her head in an upright position. Now, I want to see if you walk for us. There he goes. The walk reflex is present at birth, then it goes underground and comes back as a voluntary behavior a year later. Isn't that beautiful? The gallant right, reflex is a up. set of swimming reflexes which helps babies to squirm their way out of the uterus at delivery. It's the gallant reflex. When you stroke along their spine, they flip away. Watch how hard this baby works to follow my voice and face. Interactive behaviors say to a parent, not only can I see and hear, but I can see you and hear you. She also turns to follow the red ball, but she's about to fall apart. By contrast, this baby is in a more stable, alert state. A new baby in an alert state can even imitate my tongue thrust. They seem to know so much already. See you? Yeah. This is Merlin, a 12-day-old chimpanzee. His natural mother has abandoned him, so he's being raised by human parents. A newborn chimp is very much like a human baby. In his first weeks, Merlin responds to his adopted mother just as a child would. He gazes into her eyes. He responds to her smile. In chimp and human alike, these exchanges help to bond mother and infant. Throughout their long childhoods, both youngsters learn by watching mother and rely on her for support and guidance. Babies, human or ape, grasp with their fingers, some with their toes. Held upright, Merlin goes through the motions of walking, just are. the way a human baby would. That's a big boy. Oh, we almost had it, didn't we? Hey, sweetie, where's that big boy? Can you come see me? Can you come find me? Lay them down and both clutch at the air and often complain. At three months, both ape and human are still fairly helpless, but they can focus their gaze on objects in the world around them. They begin to grasp things, to explore them with their mouths. At this stage, there's little difference in their abilities. If anything, a chimp may be slightly ahead. At six months, both are getting stronger, more coordinated, and more curious. They're starting to explore their surroundings, though anything new still goes straight into the mouth. 